Are you an underachiever? Or maybe you're hard on yourself. Hi, I'm Julie Geigel. I'm on a mission to help people awaken and become enlightened. Be sure to listen to our free meditation over on our blog entitled Goal Setting. You can find that at heavensenthealing.us. All right, everyone. So we picked uh, two numbers for you this beautiful week here. And the two numbers that popped up are 41 and 61. <laughs> Don't you love that? All right, I want you to go ahead and pick one of those numbers because one of those numbers has a special message for you today. All right, go ahead and pop that in the comments below, 41 or 61. And we're going to take a look at 41 first. Uh, 41 is all about self-discipline. Are you an underachiever? Are you that type of person that just does enough uh, to get by? Well, if you pick this card, then the universe is definitely wanting you to know that it's time to step it up, right? So this is a sign to take action. Um, meet the universe halfway. So you know, manifesting, you're trying to create what you want in your life. And so you set your intention and you focus on that with unwavering faith, right? <laughs> but, uh, you know, you have to do your part. You have to take action and you have to set goals and you have to be purposeful. Otherwise, uh, that intention, that manifesting is just wishful thinking. <laughs> and, you know, sometimes they miss that. Uh, when you're learning about the law of attraction. So it's super, super important to plan, to prioritize, and uh, don't let the doubts and the worries in your mind prevent you from really stepping out there and taking action and, um, you know, showing up for yourself every day. Um, because it's important, you know, the universe is going to bring you the opportunities, the universe is going to bring you the experience, but if you don't follow through with that, <laughs> it's nobody's fault but your own, so stop it and just, um, you know, dive in there and do it. Okay, so let's look at our numbers in that 41, we have the four, which we know is angels. Angels are all around you, plethora of angels. And it's also about um, stability. So you are creating stability for yourself and your life and your loved ones in this beautiful new year. Now, we all know that one is make a wish. Whenever I see one, 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 make a wish uh, because your thoughts are rapidly manifesting into reality. And that one is also about um, mastery and motivation, uh, giving you that extra dose of energy to get that done. Now, when we um, add four plus one together, we get five. Five is always change. And it has a sprinkle of courage in there, which is absolutely what you need this week with self-discipline. Now, we add all that lovely energy together and we get the beautiful number 41. It is a strong, disciplined mind. And with that mindset, literally anything can happen for you. All right, now when we take a look at love, if you picked 41, it is giving you inspiration to be a better partner in this relationship, to really show up and not just do enough to get by, go that extra mile. And if you've been wounded in a past relationship, it is really moving and clearing out those wounds so that you can let love in again and open up that heart chakra. All right, here's your affirmation. Be sure to pop it in the comments below. Remember, it gives an extra powerful charge. And another tip is if you go through and um, like the other people that have posted that affirmation, it adds an extra dose. Because remember, we're working with the collective consciousness when we meet here. 
every other week. It's super, super powerful. And you can tap into that power by simply doing those little things. So with self-discipline and action, I can achieve all my goals. With self-discipline and action, I can achieve all of my goals. Awesome. I love that one. All right. Now, would you like to be a part of our Lightworker family? Be sure to hit that subscribe button. That way you'll be notified as soon as my forecast goes live. Remember, I meet here with you the first and third week of every month. And I always hang around 30 minutes after my forecast goes live to engage with you in that comment section. So I really appreciate your love and support and would definitely be delighted to have you join our Lightworker family here. Okay, so let's take a look at our next card. We've got 61 today. Uh, if you picked 61, a similar message because we got the we've got that one in there it is about self-love and, and not um self-discipline <laughs> sounds a, a little more fun <laughs> right okay so are you hard on yourself do you tend to beat yourself up a lot um well this is a sign to stop it's not getting you anywhere it's hurting you hurting those around you and interfering with your ability to be wonderful to be magnificent. So this is a message for you to love yourself to believe in yourself. You have more gumption, you have more light, you have um, more tenacity than you could ever dream of. If you could only see what I can see, the glory that you've uh, been equipped with as you come into this incarnation as a human being. It's so exciting. So make the relationship with yourself a priority. Now, remember, this is the for first forecast for the new year. So these tend to be a theme of the year. It's super important. What number did you pick? Did you pick that um, 41 or did you pick the 61? Is it about discipline this year or is it about love? Self-love today, accept and embrace who you are. We did not come here to be perfect. So get off the perfect train. <laughs> you don't need to be on that. Nobody is expecting you to be perfect. And it's okay if you've made mistakes. It's okay. Um, so don't be so hard on yourself. Treat yourself like a friend. You know, a lot of times we would never dream of talking to a friend like we talk to ourselves. <laughs> um, you know, so really pay attention of the thoughts that are running through your mind. How are you speaking to yourself? How are you speaking of yourself? Your words have power. And one of um, the favorite uh, sayings with this quote is that everything in your life is a reflection of what you believe about yourself. It is super powerful. Everything in your life is a reflection of what you believe about yourself. So don't forget that. Now, when we take a look at our numbers, the energy in 61, we have six, which is about harmony. And then we have, um, and balance, creating that balance in your life. And then we have one, which is make a wish. Again, remember, this was in our last number. And then that motivation to make uh, some needed changes in your life. And then when we add six and one together, we get on the right path. You're on the right path. And there's this beautiful inner strength that comes with that number of seven, that uh, your the, the tenacity, that fortitude, you're not going to give up your, your, this is going to be your year. And so uh, when we put all that energy together, we get the lovely 61, which is loving yourself, making you a priority in your life, making that relationship with yourself a priority. Because especially if you're looking for a romance, if you're trying to attract an apart, a partner, be the perfect partner for yourself. That's a magnet. It magnetizes love into your life every single time. 
All right. Now, in terms of love, uh, this number is about new beginnings and fresh starts. So it's letting any past pain, letting the anger, healing it, facing it, uh, being present with it. You know, I am never about numbing it or, you know, let it go. And then it just magically dissolves. <laughs> it's a little more work than that. Um, but do the work because this, this is your year to finally release that anger. Remember, anger becomes resentment, which turns into disease in your body. So you don't want that to happen. So do the work, heal the pain. 61, if you pick that number in terms of love, you're ready. You're ready to uh, let that go and move on. And clean slate, you are ready for to heal the anger, clear out the pain, and start with a fresh slate in your relationship. I love it. Okay, you ready for that affirmation? The essence of my being is love. I activate this truth now. The essence of my being is love. I activate that truth now. All right, everyone, that's all I have for you here today. Thank you so much for stopping by. I truly love and appreciate you. Have a beautiful and blessed day.